there's nothing more satisfying than eating the food that you've grown in your own vegetable garden. The main challenge here is getting into the little butternut squash. So I use a potato peeler. It just peels the skin off real easily. Now I'm keeping this recipe very simple because I want to taste the flavor of my first butternut squash of the season. So roasting it in the oven is going to be very flavorful and very simple to do. So after I've peeled it, I'm going to cut off both of the ends and then I'm going to cut the butternut squash in half. And this is just to make it simpler to get into it. Then I'll take each half and cut it in half again. As you can see, the larger half has all of the seeds, so we're going to need to take a spoon and scoop them all out. Now this butternut squash is non-genetically modified and I've grown it organically in my organic vegetable garden. So because of that, I'm going to hold on to these seeds uh, and I'm going to plant them again next year. So I just want to give them a little clean, pull out any of the pulp and uh, lay them down on a flat Scott towel and let them dry. And then I'll just store them and save them until next year. Now I want to cut the butternut squash into half inch slices and I'm going to put the flat side down so that it doesn't roll around. And here you can see I've got beautiful half inch slices. Uh, now I'm going to take all my slices and lay them down on a tray on parchment paper. And because I'm roasting the butternut squash, I want to leave enough space between each piece. And there's not much that goes on it. Very simple, extra virgin olive oil, a bit of salt, and a bit of pepper to taste. And then I put it in a 375 degree oven for at least half an hour uh, or until fork tender. And before I put it in the oven, I wanna make sure that the oil, salt and pepper is evenly spread out over each butternut squash piece. So I just use my hands and spread it all over. Now for a little bit of extra flavoring, what I do is I pull out the butternut squash 10 minutes before the end of its cooking time and I sprinkle with a little bit of brown sugar. It adds that little bit of sweetness to it, but it's so good. Tastes just like candy. Now for details about this recipe, go to genusbellacucina.blogspot.com where you will find links to all of my recipes. Bon appetito everyone!